Alright, in this episode we're going to be talking about variables and variable types, how to declare them, how to initialize them, etc, etc. Okay, so we actually, in the previous video, already declared and initialized a variable. This one right here. Int number is equal to zero semicolon. That is a declaration and an initialization. Now what are variables in programming? Variables are just, think of them as buckets. And when we declare variables, we declare them as certain types. And there are a few types of variables, and these, these variable buckets of, when we declare them to be a type, they can only hold information of that type. So if we declare a variable, um, of, an, of an integer variable, this variable can only hold integers, meaning whole numbers, not decimals, not fractions, whole numbers. And this is how we declare an integer variable. Int, give it a name, I named it number, set it, and well that's really all you have to do at first. However, in C++, when you're coding, uh, and you declare a variable without initializing, without without giving it a value upon declaration, it will have a variable. It will have a value in it already, some random value that is left over from some previous program or whatever inside your computer. So I'm I'm just curious as to see what this is, what value this will be. So I'm just gonna say. See, my compiler is giving me a warning. It says it's uninitialized, and, you know, that's generally not good. You should initialize it, but I want to see. I'm just going to go ahead and see if it'll input a zero. Okay, so it's already, it ends up being zero anyway. That's very interesting. But anyways, anyways, this is a, just a declaration. I am simply declaring or telling my compiler I want a variable of type integer, and I want to name it number. Now let's initialize it. Initializing it is setting it equal to a value, and it has to be an integer in this case. So for example, I could say 6, or 9, or 99, or 900, 99, 100,000, whatever, you know. There is a limit. There is a actual size capacity that you can go uh, up to, and actually down to as well. You can make variables negative and so forth. Um, so we have integers, and you might be thinking, well, how do I do decimals? And you can do decimals by doing double. Okay, double, and then we have to name it, so my decimal, is that how you spell decimal? Yes, decimal. And we could set it now to a decimal, so zero, uh, oh, I know, it's famous, 3.14159265353. And of course a semicolon. And there is char. Chars are characters. So my first initial. And you ha when you um, initialize a char, you need single quotes. And there is a difference. Remember, programming is case, case sensitive. So there is a difference between capital D and lowercase d. My first initial is uppercase d. Um, what are you what are you doing here? Unused variable. Oh, that's okay. Xcode gives a warning that says this variable is unused in my program. That's right. Whatever. Uh, you can declare strings. Um, that's very interesting. I thought you would have to include the string header file. Don't worry about what I'm talking about. Let me see. Um, my name. And to do strings, uh, you have to initialize them with double quotes, like that. And, oh, that is quite interesting. See, normally, when I was taught, you need to do this pound include string thing in order to use the string variable type. But I apparently not, so that's quite interesting. And we can use C out and C in to manipulate all of these all of these things. 
So right now all you know is int, double, char, and string, and that is really all you need to know for our learning purposes. So I'm going to change my C outs, and this is how you output the value of a variable in programming. C out, extraction operator, and then you send out to your outstream or to your, your monitor, you send out the name of the variable. And by doing that, you're sending out the value of that variable. So by sending C out number, I will our output will literally just be nine. And then I can do endl for a new line, and then C out uh, my decimal endl C out uh, my first initial and then endl and then see out my name. Oops. Oops. And L. And then when I run this, it'll print all of those values. 3.1415. Oh, okay, so this is very interesting. Notice that under for my double variable, for my decimal, it, it actually truncates, it cuts off the the rest of the, the the value of the variable so it only prints 3.14159 uh, when clearly there is a few more <laughs> there and you can actually change this um, I'm gonna actually I forget how to do that right now to where it shows you you can manipulate how many uh, decimals show up and how accurate it is and so forth and uh, I'm gonna have to. Look, I'm gonna have to look that up though because I forget exactly how to do that. So stay tuned for that video. But for right now, this is this is good. I'm just gonna cut. I'm gonna truncate it myself. And with C in, with C in, we can <coughs> we can manipulate. So C in insertion operator and we're going to well hold on we need to prompt the user so we're gonna prompt the user and say please uh, insert or please type it's better your first initial okay and then we will enter whatever whatever is typed in will be input at, into the variable my first initial <clears throat> and then C out. We'll just do end L and then uh, U typed. Oh, we can just do it right here. My first initial. There. Oh, well. End L, yes. Okay, so let's do this. Let's run it. So it prints the regular stuff and then it prompts me to type my first initial. I'm going to change it. T. Press enter and it says I typed T. And program exits with code zero. And um, so that's that's it. That's variables, variable types, how to declare them, and then how to initialize them. It's the same with all of these. This is a declaration, and then this is an initialization. And remember, when you see out the variable name, it outputs the number to your screen. Um, and that is, that is about it for this video. Stay tuned for more pro Mac programming C++ tutorials.